Measurements are very key in garment making. If you don't take measurements correctly, you're bound to make an oversized dress or an undersized dress. Here we want to show you how measurements are taken. We're actually using a mannequin to show you how measurements should be taken. Here is how you measure the shoulder. Yes, you can see where his hands are. You measure your shoulder across from point to point. Okay. Then I think the next measurement we'll take now is the round neck. This is how you measure around the neck of a figure. Then the next one is the bust measurement. So you can see how the tape is placed around the bust. Yes, you take the part of the bust that is protruding the most, not the upper part of it. Okay, the next part is the waistline. This is how you measure round the waist. Then the next one is the hip measurement. You place your tape around the part that protrudes the most. The hip part that protrudes the most is where you take your measurements. So that's how you take measurements for the hip. Then you want to take the next one. Your waist to hip. Now you look at the part of the hip that protrudes the most. Sometimes these measurements are there, there are some specific measurements given to define your waist to hip. Sometimes they say it's about eight inches from your waistline, thereabouts. But it's good that you measure because figures differ. Then here you want to measure your shoulder your shoulder to bust point. That measurement is very essential, particularly when you want to construct your darts on the bodies. You need your shoulder to bust point and then your shoulder to waist measurement is very essential too. Your waistline is where your navel is. So ensure that you don't go below that. Then you want to take your nape to waist from the back of your neck. Your nape is the bone, is it the atlas or the axis bone now, at the back of your neck to your waistline at the back. This measurement too is very key because your front part of your body and your back side of your body are not the same form. So you cannot apply the same measurements for the front, for the back as well. So, which is the next? Your sleeve measurements. Your sleeve can be of different lengths, short, three quarters, or long. So depending on the style that you want to make, but it's important that you just have all the measurements recorded against a particular client so that you don't have to ask again and again. Then you want to take the round arm. Round the arm of the figure is also important. That's how you take the round arm measurement. Now you want to take the length of the figure. Maybe your blouse length, you measure from your shoulder to the desired 
length. Then you want to measure to the knee, that is also very possible. And you want to measure to the floor, that is also very possible. You also measure from your waist to your knee. If you want to make a short skirt, and you can also make a long skirt by measuring from your waist to your ankle or longer, depending on what the person wants. Okay. Now, having seen all of this, I'm sure on your own, you can take measurements and record them now without making mistakes. These are basic measurements that you have taken. And it is very key that you follow it accordingly. Like some people will say, it's just about measurement taking is almost like you're doing mathematics. I don't see the mathematics in this because you're only working on two digits, less than a hundred in figures. So I don't see what mathematics anybody is doing here that is difficult. So we'll proceed now to the sewing machine. We're going to show you how to thread a sewing machine.